Hello everyone, my name is Rajiv Danda and uh, I'm a research scholar in doing my PhD in soft computing based machine learning model <clears throat> and having more than 10 year academics experience and uh, published uh, 13 research paper and uh, till now uh, I published uh, 14 patents. So today I will discuss uh, assignment one uh, of uh, introduction to soft computing. The very first question which of the following is not an example of hard computing? Hard computing and soft computing as we know soft computing is used when there is uncertainty and for very complex problem and non-linear problem but hard computing is used when precise solution is required. So which of the following is not as example of hard computing? Searching and sorting techniques. It's an example of hard computing. Finding root of a polynomial. Example of uh, hard computing. Hand written characters recognition. It is the part of soft computing. So this one is the example where we can't use hard computing. So the correct answer is C. Find closest pair of points given a set of points. Uh, in this we can use hard computing. Question number two, the term hard computing was introduced by Charles Darwin, Lopti Ejade, Rechenberg, Ibrahim M. H. Mamdani. So hard computing and soft computing, both these terms are introduced by uh, Professor Lopti Ejade. Question three, which of the following is a characteristic of any soft computing methodology? It is based on binary logic, numerical analysis, no. It is not based upon binary logic. It produces precise solution, no. It produces uh, uncertainties uh, type solution where uncertainties is uh, available and uh, so it gives unprecise solution. It is deterministic, uh, not, it is not deterministic. So finally the correct answer is D. It exploits the tolerance for imprecision and uncertainty to achieve tractability, robustness and low cost solution. So it is the uh, Crips definition we can say for the soft computing. The correct answer is D. Let X is universe of discourse and mu A X membership function of element X is the membership function for the fuzzy set A. The set of all point X belongs to universe of discourse capital X in the fuzzy set A is defined as a core. If a membership function A x equal to 1. So in the question it is given that core uh, core means when the membership function uh, is equal to 1. So therefore the correct answer is uh, D. A fuzzy set is defined as a collection of element, a collection of membership function, a collection of ordered pair of elements and corresponding membership function. So correct answer is C because always fuzzy set is defined in a ordered pair whereas a crisp set is not defined in ordered pair. So correct answer is C. The value of membership function at a cross or point is given by 0.5. So the correct answer is B. Which membership function is known as Cauchy membership function? Gaussian, sigmoidal, generalized, well, triangular. Uh, if we see the shape Gaussian and generalized spell both have the similar shape but both have the different membership function. So out of this we can say that uh, Cauchy membership function is also known as generalized members uh, generalized bell. So option C is the correct one. A Gaussian membership function of X with two parameters C and Sigma is given by uh, correct answer is B. It is a standard formula membership function e raised to the power minus 1 by 2 x minus c upon sigma uh, whole raised to the power 2. So correct answer is B. Two fuzzy set A and B is given by this one. The Cartesian product A cross B is given by. So as we know there are Crips uh, fuzzy set, there are, uh, there are Crips sets and uh, fuzzy sets. So according to that, first of all, you have to know about the basics and how they operate. Uh, operator in Crips set and fuzzy set. After that, uh, you can solve these types of question. But I already solved this question and after solving that, uh, I found that answer option C is the correct one. 
which of the following is a equation for disjunctive sum uh, so there are uh, numerous uh, properties available in fuzzy set so out of that there is one property disjunctive sum so according to that uh, option c will be the correct answer a complement intersection b union a uh, intersection b complement so answer uh, option c is correct question 11 a fuzzy set is said to be closed if uh, option b will be the correct uh, x minus infinity remember c function a x uh, equal to limit x tends to plus infinity mu a x equal to zero so option b will be the correct two fuzzy set a and b given by a and b a, and intersection of these two set a and b is given by when we take the intersection so out of this x1 x1 we have to compare this one so out of that we have to take minimum so 0 0.4 0 0.5 so minimum is 0 0.4 0 0.3 0 0.7 minimum is 0 0.3 0 0.1 0 0.3 minimum is 0 0.1 so according to that option d is the correct one so option d is correct and 0 0.4 0 0.3 0 0.1 given two set a and b a relation r is defined this one which of the following is the matrix representation actually this is the question of uh, crisps relation because uh, from the matrix we can see either it belongs to set or uh, either a or it not belong to the set so if belong to set so represented by one if not belong to set represented by zero so first of all we have to uh, we have to know about the fuzzy set crisps set fuzzy operator crisps operator and after that fuzzy relation and crisps relation so this is the question of crisps relation uh, between two set a and b and there is a relation between both the set uh, first of all we have to calculate the precise uh, combination from a and b after that we have to implement this so after solving that uh, the correct answer is a uh, to solve this type of question you have to must uh, uh, know about the fuzzy set fuzzy relation crips relation fuzzy operator crips operator after that you can solve otherwise uh, unable to solve question 14 suppose a relation r is given by this one uh, then find r complement so very simple question just we you have to uh, complement 1 to 0 and 0 to 1 and if we do this so correct answer will be the d question 15 let p and q and uh, find r r is equal to p uh, q using max mean composition so earlier we uh, saw the question of uh, crisps relation but this question is belong to fuzzy relation so we have to use uh, you have to use the max mean composition and after solving that i found that uh, option a is the correct one and uh, so for this type of question uh, you have to be uh, aware about the uh, fuzzy concept fuzzy set fuzzy operator fuzzy relation and in the same way crips set crips relation crips operator thank you so much and uh, i will share or upload the video for the next assignment uh, as soon as possible so you can use uh, you can subscribe my channel for the further references and uh, i will try my best so that 100% uh, uh, accuracy will be there so that uh, in internal assessment you can get 100% uh, marks uh, 25 out of 25 thank you